Hello everyone, this is M.D. Sekhar, the Managing Director and Structural Engineer of Paradigm Engineering Consultancy Private Limited. Today I am with new video related to codal provision of site force reinforcement, its concept and its need or its importance. So let's start our codal provisions related to Site force reinforcement as per IS 456-2000. According to the clause 26.5.3, 27.5.7, if there will be no torsion in the beam, then in this case, site force reinforcement will be necessary only if the depth of beam exceeds 750 mm. But if there will be torsion or there will be the chances of torsion there in the beam, and then in this case, height force reinforcement will be necessary only if depth exceeds 450 mm. The amount of reinforcement, the amount of reinforcement to be provided is 0.1% of cross section area of wave in both cases. They must be distributed. They must be distributed on both faces such that spacing should not exceed 300 mm or wave thickness, whichever is lesser. The general requirement that I have explained is diagrammatically represented in this figure. Please have a glance over it. This is a slab thickness. This is a wave width. This is the depth of wave. This is the spacing of rebar. And this is the mini minimum area of side force reinforcement that is to be provided. Let's move into the next slide where you will know the concept and importance of side force reinforcement, side face reinforcement, okay? According to design philosophy of balance section, the member is designed such that the concrete reaches compressive strain of 0.0035 when steel reaches a strain of 0.002 plus 8.0.87 FY by ES where FY is the yield strength of rebar, ES, Young's modulus of elasticity of rebar. In relatively lower, lower depth beam, tensile strength above the reinforcement are not substantially high to create crack in the concrete and additional reinforcement is not essential in this case. This tensile strength is not very enough that will produce crack in the concrete that lies in between your legs and that of reinforcement, reinforcement. Whereas in case of deep beam, the tensile reinforcement are deeper, are deeper and large amount of concrete section is subjected to tensile strain, tensile strain. Therefore, crack may develop in tension zone both the reinforcement up to the neutral axis and crack would propagate easily. So, to avoid this mechanism, the side force reinforcement is to be provided. If you have any comments, confusion or you need further information about this video or this topic, please do comment. Thank you for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you like my video. Thank you.